What's up, everybody? It's your boy, the RC Cooper. This is o- this is the overall season one, episode seventeen. And I think it's called Five Family. So we see Donna choking out Lily, and I already knew he wasn't gonna kill because he didn't have it in him. Now I know Carl would have killed Lily twenty four seven, but he wasn't there. And Carl, I ain't gonna lie, he is smart. He know Lily wasn't coming back. He know. Also note that she was at the police station thinking about what she's going to do. Because you remember she trying to report Carl, well no, report Donald for trying to strangle her to death. He couldn't do it and he tried to stop her from leaving and she said she's going to go for a drive. And she went for a drive and you know what I'm saying, Carl was talking to uh, Hunter, you know what I'm saying, still talking about what happened, you know, his friend that he knows and you know Carl still devast not Carl. You know Hunter still devastated what happened to Denise about, you know, his side piece, the mistress. You know what I'm saying? Everybody think Denise was a hooker, but I don't believe that. She's a fashion designer. No. No, no. I think where she work at she work at the clothes store. Her twin sister, I think she is. She's you know, used to run the street and her name is Ruth. But we know Ruth is not dead. We know she's still alive. We ain't make any sense. Cause they try to make it seem like she's dead. Now I know Tati will really kill her, so cause we seen it with our own eye. And whatever happened, we know that Barry is gonna confront Ruth. I don't know when they're gonna show it, but it'll be soon. Cause they're gonna bump into each other, and he's gonna wonder. He's gonna ask Ruth, "Where's his daughter?" Cause he was her daughter too. And yeah, man. So I had to keep with my eyes. Cause I still gotta get in the shower. And then we see Jason and um Gail. And Gail was talking to um Lynn or whatever her name is and was telling her that um she wanted to know what happened to her boyfriend Pinky. And the thing is, Pinky was mother, but did she even know Pinky was mother? And you know she didn't want to get involved. She said, I'm just a maid. And then she found out that she was in her car with Gail told that she was in her trunk of her car. And you know why she escaped? Because she wanted to be with Pinky so bad. And she wanted to, you know, be with him. And, you know, that's what her and Jason even said they didn't want to be in this house. Gail definitely want to get out. She don't want to be in the White House anymore. And she didn't want to be in the first place. She want her own life. Jason don't want to be there either. But the man looked like he was watching porn on when Hunter was talking to him. Because Victoria said, you need to talk to your son. And he told, um... He told Jason that you need you don't need it don't embarrass me or something like that. And Jason no, I ain't gonna lie, he is smart too. He know those two was messing around. And he heard them having sex with Denise was alive. And Hunter already think that Jason is spying on him. And Jason said, No, it's not the case, I'm not spying. I'm not spying on you and stuff like that. I just don't know who I believe. It's just a lot, man, just a lot. Just saying. And we see Barry at the police station. We know he's not getting out right now, but we know he's not going to be holding. He'll be getting out soon. They're going to be out holding too long because he never killed anyone now. He told Sam, I would never hit a woman. And he's not wrong. He never hit a female. That's why he went after the guys. And that's why he fucked Colleen up. And Colleen want to be a coward put out a gun, but that was a week ago. That was last week. And then, of course, Colleen tried to play a victim like he... Think that that his that's not his weapon. Maybe him and Shaman do deserve each other. Like you and Barry don't need to get back together. You don't y'all don't deserve each other. Barry been going through it. Maybe he should have been a single dad. Because next week his mother Nancy's gonna I think that's her name. She's gonna talk to Barry about what he did and ask him why you do it, what you was thinking. And then the man you could tell Barry was a Muslim because he he already admit that he shot his dad by accident. He was trying to take the gun for Kareem because Kareem was trying to put a gun on him. So it's not just Barry's fault, it's Kareem's fault as well. And even Barry did take a little bit of responsibility, so I had to give him that. And Sam told him not to talk to anyone, especially in prison or actually jail because I don't know if it's prison or jail because Barry never, I don't know. I don't know if he killed anyone, but everybody thinks that him and um, Richard shot that guy. I still don't get that part. 
And I don't think Ruth is dead. I don't believe that. She's still alive. And I just can't wait what's going to happen. And we're going to see a lot of women running all over the place. I don't know. Was that was on the Oval or Ruth? Lit? It was one of them. But I think Ruth probably did get killed. I don't know. I'm, I'm still confused because it's like they're doing a... Um, Going back in time stuff. You know what I mean. Um, is there anything else I got to talk about? We also know that um, Victoria know it was blood. And Hunter was acting pretty strange because he was trying to stop her from reaching the earrings that her grandmother gave to her. And yeah, guys. I'm still confused. At, at, the, thing, at the same time. It's just how it is. Um, and then we see Lily go to Bobby. Well, before that, because Sam bumped into her. Before he went to the police station and talked to Barry. Because, like I said, I know Nancy's going to be there. And she's going to confront him next week. For sure. And I don't know what Barry going to do. He don't look like he want to tell her what happened. And we know Richard going to be alive. Thank God on that one that he's okay. That he's going to be in the hospital. You know... Sam's going to be there to see um, Richard and Nancy and uh, Priscilla. So, yeah, guys. And then you got, uh, I already talk about Gail and Jason, right? When he was looking up, you know, he always see his way. And we already know he, he, you know, gets security code. You know how you get down. Girl just want to know what's going to what happened to Pinky. Cause the thing is, she know that it was her mother, but she don't know who killed Pinky. That's the thing. And we seen Carl and uh, Donald making love or at least having sex. And he was trying to refuse, but we already know he's weak. He didn't even try to fight, off, fight him off before in front of Lily. And now, because Lily did go to Bobby. And now Bobby want her to find everything that they hiding because he, I think Bobby is undercover. He might be a detective or he might be a PI, wherever he is. Seems like he want Lily, you know, be careful. It's like, it's might as well put a wire on her if that's the case because you don't want to get caught. And these people are powerful. That's what Donald told um, Lily. And he was trying, but he said he don't want to lose her, that he would get, she would get killed. And she turned them in. And that's why she sat outside thinking about what she's going to do. I can't even know that she had the police say that she's not going to be coming back. But um, is that everything else I got to say about the Oval? Because I do enjoy this episode. It was a decent episode. And like I said, guys, that's what happened at the end with Victoria found blood under the mattress. And Hunter did lift out the rug. And was still blood under there. Smear stay of blood but that's it guys make sure you rate comment subscribe please turn on the notification share this video and i'll see y'all the next one peace